All right guys, so check this out. We made it to Seaboy's shop. The first thing we are going to do is getting these builds ready. We're gonna do a heart transplant on this Raptor. So after these guys sent this R6 to space, they're having issues with it starting, so we're trying to figure that out. Sorry about this, by the way. <laughs> it's all good. What, I, I believe a formal apology is it. Is <laughs> yeah. Exact. So this is the least prepared that we've ever been, and we can impress ourselves with our unpreparedness. Yeah. I think we can get this thing started. Man, yeah, man, whatever you say, you're the professional. <laughs> so like, I'm not going home anytime soon. <laughs> Frick. Yeah, I'm stuck here until the blizzard dies down. Okay, moment of truth. We've been pulling parts off of the uh, other R6 trying to get this one to run. Are we taking bets if this is gonna work or not? <laughs> I, I'm, I have, faith I have just to go to have with it. 5%. Yeah! Hey, let's go! All right guys, so we got the motor running and we're getting it out. We're gonna get the chain off and a shifter and then it should just come right off. And then we'll be uh, mocking it up in the quad. So. Uh, I'm nervous. I'm excited, yeah. but I'm nervous. I like how you say that. We're doing a mock-up. I honestly, I do not know how this thing is going to fit in my quad. Hey, we'll make it fit. We'll make it fit. <laughs> You should just be able to muscle it out. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Oh yeah! Let's go! Alright, let's take this What could we do with this? Maybe put a snowmobile engine in this thing? Oh, in the ch keep the chassis? Yeah. Sounds out of our pay grade. <laughs> Can I have this for a build? Hey, actually, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Two stroke swap. I did measure it out last night, and the space, or the motor standing up straight is approximately, let's just say for good math, 26 inches. 26 inches is right here. Oh man. <laughs> oh, boy. So it will have some lean to it. It'll be, it'll have to sit like at a slant, uh -huh. and then the oil pan will be sticking past the frame, so. Wow. <laughs> it kind of sucks that the frame is aluminum on this half, so no welding on it. I oh, mean, I, yeah. I did bring an oh, aluminum welder, but I think but it was just weak in the frame, and I don't know. It looks it looks pretty weak up here, so we're gonna have to build that strength back up. There you go. It's in. Three. Three. It's in. Right. The top of that sprocket has to be level with this. Yeah. Um, Chains on straight. Also, hey, you guys didn't even need me. They did all of this <laughs> by themselves. <laughs> all right, dude, you can go home. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for just keeping an eye on yes. us. All right, this is day two of the 600 swapped quad. And check this out, we got the motor mocked up in there. So Seaboys told me not to make this thing too nice. What I'm working on now is getting the engine mounted. Um, really nice that it has these quick disconnects right here on security ports. I'm gonna make a kind of a Nerf bar. It goes from here to there, and it'll catch the engine mount right there. We kind of already drilled a hole in the frame right here. Um, so that lined up pretty nice. And then if you take a look at the sprocket, it looks really nice. Well, 
is acting up. Of course it is. All right, so Bass is getting the frame fixed up so it'll actually contain and hold the motor. But now Kevin's getting the wiring harness so we can all just plug the remaining Raptor parts into the R6 parts so they'll all work together. And he's also rigging up the Raptor gas tank to work with the R6. So uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised it's going smoothish. Um, we're gonna have this thing mounted today. You're a professional. You're a professional. <laughs> what can we say? Yeah. So check that out guys, I got the underneath of the quad welded, all of this triangulation looks very nice, I'm super proud of how it came out. The one thing I am worried about is this joint right here failing, it's absolutely critical so I made sure to get some good welds on there. And now what I'm going to work on is the exhaust. Um, we might do zoomies or if I can, try to collect it all in one. All right guys, so I got the exhaust on this R6 swap quad figured out so it shoots out both the sides. And basically I use parts from the R6 headers and parts from the Raptor header. So we got a pretty sick looking exhaust here. It's gonna be extremely loud. It's gonna be loud. so loud. <laughs> yeah, so I guess now we're going to make this thing light, nice and lower it down. I'm so proud. I wish this was mine. <laughs> Dude, it looks awesome. I'm glad that we went with outsides. Originally, we were gonna go underneath it, but I think outsides is way cooler. What do you think about the teardrop? The teardrop shapes. It's pretty hard. It looks, Dude. yeah, it looks like it sketchy, but also equally <laughs> as badass. It would have been quieter going off the bottom, because I think that it's gonna be so loud, it's gonna blow out the camera. Yeah. Like it's, it's like gonna blow out the mic. Like right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'll weld like a bolt right here or something like that. We're struggling. Dude. Come on, guys. Team is in six hours. This is the moment of truth. We're going to find out if it'll start. <laughs> Round of applause, boys. 
on the right track. So for reference, it's Sunday night around 11 p.m. We've been working on this thing since what? Friday afternoon? I mean, it's been a, honestly a lot of freaking work. And obviously Vasily was doing like the majority of it just because there's a lot of fabrication that was being done. But now that, you know, we got it in the bike, most of the fab stuff is done. Now it's just putting it all back together. And I don't know, I think tomorrow we'll be ripping it. Dude, definitely finishing touches right now. Speedometer is like mounted in the perfect place We're in the factory. cockpit. And look at this, this too. Ringing out there was like as high as I could get it. But if I put it in neutral, it'll go above 12 or above like that 10.5. So it's kind of getting worse. So guys, we spent around two days trying to troubleshoot things on the quad and we just could not get it to run right. We did compression checks. The compression came out perfect. We changed the spark plugs. We changed ECUs. We changed bits in the wiring and still could not get it to run. We tried putting socks over the air filters, we tried restricting the airflow, we tried increasing the airflow and still would not make a difference. We tried messing with the throttle position sensor and nothing. So some of you might be quick to say, oh well it's because he deleted the air box, it's because of that stupid exhaust, it's not scavenging properly. Well, it could be, we don't know. These motors are incredibly simple and people have been doing R1 and R6 swaps and quads and deleting the air box with no issues. So this is very strange to me. I think a good tuner should be able to fix all these issues. Unfortunately, it is minus 10 degrees where they live, lots of snow, and there are very little tuners in their area. So if any of you want to drive up and help them with their issue, um, reach out. All right, so I made it home safely, and despite this minor setback, I had a great time. Huge shout out to C Boys; they definitely took care of me. It was stressful at times, but you know, you gotta just push yourself, get out of that comfort zone. So that's what I decided to do. It was a very long drive, but in the end, it was worth it. So I'm hoping they can figure this out. There's nothing mechanically wrong with the motor. I think it just needs a good tuner, someone to tune it out. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Now, guys, I have a lot of stuff coming with the channel here very soon. So just stay tuned, lots of epic stuff, gonna be hopping back on my builds. Um, so yeah, super excited, but yeah guys, with that being said, I have to catch you guys in the next one. Happy holidays and peace out.